my son Micah, when he was about six months old, um, I had a pediatrician well check, and um, the pediatrician recommended that we go and see uh, someone at Cranial Technologies and he was having some asymmetry to where it would have started to affect his eyes and his ears that if he would have ever needed to wear glasses his glasses would have been lopsided or helmets for sports he would have had difficulty fitting into things and being a boy especially it, with shorter hair it was a lot more noticeable so we're extremely happy that we went along with it the results were pretty amazing. Micah ended up needing the helmet because of plagial cephaly and um, he basically was born with a very large head and he got used to laying a certain way in his crib to where it developed a, a flat spot and it kind of made it worse as he grew because his head would naturally roll in the direction where the flat spot was, even if I repositioned him or was careful to not leave him in a swing for a long time. It's, it's just kind of something that happens with some kids. It is more common nowadays because there are so many different places you can put your kid, whether in a bouncy seat or in a swing, but a lot of the times it's just more kids are prone to it. We probably see on the order of uh, maybe 30,000 kids per year in our, our uh, 38 clinics, and we see about that many for consultation. Uh, not all of those kids then become candidates for treatment, so we'll, we'll treat a smaller proportion of those. My name is Tim Littlefield, and I'm the Chief Science and Technology Officer at Cranial Technologies. Cranial Technologies is both a medical device manufacturer as well as a medical service provider, and what we do is we specialize in treating children with abnormal head shape. Cranial Technologies has invented several technologies like DSI scanning. DSI stands for Digital Surface Imaging, and that was a technology that we developed specifically for children with plagiocephaly. And what it is is a number of triangulated cameras that instantaneously take a picture of a baby uh, that's sitting in the system, and within just a fraction of a second, uh, we obtain a full three-dimensional model of the child's head shape, including a photographic overlay that's morphed onto the surface. And that's the image that we use to actually make the, the medical device from. We'll typically treat children with this uh, starting at about four to five months of age uh, is when we give them the opportunity to round out and correct on their own with conservative intervention. If not, we'll put them in a medical device that actually reshapes their head naturally. So the bands are made actually by taking that three-dimensional image of the head shape. It is then fed into a proprietary program called Sentient 3D and that program actually models what the baby's head shape should look like. We then send that 3D model to a milling machine, a four-axis milling machine, where we mill out the shape of the baby's head shape. We then vacuum form two different materials, the foam liner that comes into contact with the baby's head, and then the plastic that makes the outer shell. Once we have that model and it's cool, we actually send it to the next department, which we refer to as trim lines. And in the trim lines department, we have another proprietary program, which models exactly what the shape of that product should be for the baby. And then what happens there is that we will then output that to a five axis mill, where we'll first draw the shape of the product, and then we'll cut out the shape using that same five axis mill. What is a five axis machine? As the name indicates, 5-axis machining uses a tool which moves in five different directions, corresponding to the three linears X, Y, and Z. The 4-axis machine just goes four ways. And then the final stage will be going into a finishing department where the finishing team will actually put the soft edges on and make sure the device is in its final perfect shape before we ship it off. So this is all that we do for a living is we fix babies' head shapes, period. And so that gives us a lot of expertise and it knows that all the people that you're going to see are dedicated to one thing, which is helping kids with this condition.